Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, smash that like button and please subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below the video. Click that link, that'll get you to my website so you can book personal reading. Uh, if you want to join my channel, definitely consider $2.99 per month. Get some cool emojis, some awesome shout outs. Um, yeah super cool stuff. Dorothy Kirby, Nancy Stupers, welcome, welcome. Okay, thank you for becoming a House of Virgo member. All right, let me see here. Let's get into this. I'm going to do a little bit of the Cosmic Insights. Ooh, you have honeymoon phase attending somebody's wedding, right? That's coming up. Okay, look, we do have an aeroplane. So somebody's taking a trip or going somewhere together, you and another person or connecting with someone for love. Look at the Look at the airplane. Look at the hearts. Right? Hmm. Un union. Duality. Coupling. Okay, let's see. I have a little bit of um, allergies, so I might sound funky. Okay, you've got guardian angel. Lost loved one watches over you, Virgo. Super cool. So you do have that. Somebody's watching out for you, Virgs. What else? What else does Virgo need to know? I'm just going to pull one. Oh, look. So you got vacation. I'm telling you. So if you got like a thing where you got to fly and you're worried about flying, don't worry. You're blessed. You're being watched over. Um, somebody's name might be Angel as well. Yeah. So um, this looks like a love, a love vacation or a love vacation with somebody. Super awesome. Okay. That's awesome. Where are you guys going? Oh, I'm going to ask that. Where's everybody going? Or who's coming towards you? We want to look at that. Hold on. I just want to get some island time messages. Ooh. You have I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting. Someone wants to date you, Virgo. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Um, you will be traveling. Someone's traveling to you. Um, ooh. <laughs> you got the runner. <laughs> this is somebody who they run. Looks like they're not going to run. They're running. I want to run to you. Isn't that an old song? Who was that? Brian Adams? Um. Yeah, somebody's running, running to you. I don't feel like they're running. They might have run away from you before taking a risk. Hand of cards. Um, they might have ran away from you before. Now they're running to you, not from you. Okay. <laughs> Do I sound funny? I, I feel like I'm getting a headache. All right, let's get into this and see what's going on here. Okay, so the runner is coming in and either they're going to invite you somewhere or they're coming to see you or you're going to see them or you both are going somewhere together um romance is blooming let's see uh, now this might not be somebody that you know you're involved with before this could just be someone who's like they run marathons or someone's coming in f to run a marathon they're going to be in the area or um <clears throat> They're just, they're just a person that likes to run, right? I don't know what you want me to say. Like, they're just somebody that, you know, maybe they're just a runner, like, for exercise. They run. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, shit. My card went. I gotta get it. Hold on. You gotta get it. Oh. All right. Awesome sauce. You got the nine of wands here. So, <clears throat> this is definitely an energy of... Um, I feel like, yeah, so somebody that ran away from you before, listen, they're not giving up. This person, they don't like to quit. They persevere. They got some wounds, for sure. They got some wounds. They've cut some people off. This person, um, I actually feel like maybe they had like a little bit of a potty mouth or they said some nasty things in the past, whether it was to you or somebody else. And they got beat up for it, like uh, figuratively. I hope not literally, maybe. But, you know, uh, this is kind of like <laughs> when you're mean to somebody and you know how it does come back to bite you in the ass. And I feel like that something up with this person, um, their energy. So I don't know if that was you, someone born in 95 or September 5th. So I don't know if that was something that they did to you or whatever it's like kind of bit them in the ass or it's biting them in the that, how many times can i say ass seriously it's yeah they're, they're getting the little payback here they also cut some people off and are just kind of like oh not wanting to give up on virgo oh shit right 
yeah look oh there's listen the devil fell in reverse so <sighs> releasing limiting beliefs freedom <sighs> freedom from addiction <sighs> restoring control <laughs> okay but it's pretty much like when the devil's in the reverse it's no longer having that grip on them okay so that's a good thing we like it when the devil's in reverse but it doesn't mean that there isn't like a attraction or that sexual temptation there you know the devil card is present it's reduced in other words this person is not being controlled by some dark thoughts they're re reducing or letting go of maybe that a gambling issue or they were one of those people who's like a hustler whatever a hustler is like a like a con person I feel like they're not engaging in that behavior okay that's good oh yeah look at that that's recovery this person is like recovered from some devilish devilish evil that I don't know if you saw my meme yesterday Aquarius is like pure Satan <laughs> maybe you're dealing with Aquarius or Capricorn or Cusper but um yeah this is recovery I don't know, I just kind of get a sense that this person is coming towards you. You may know them, you may not. They, um, they're they coming towards you, first of all. And um, they want to spend some time with you. I heard maybe somebody's going to go to Vegas or get invited to Vegas. Um, you know, like to do stuff. Um, but I do. it could be a wedding, too. Like y'all might be getting married in like Elvis's chapel. Kind of Look, right when I said that, there's the Ten of Cups okay hold on it is like 70 degrees out and the heat's on in here what the hell's the matter with me let me see anything else for virgo what else does virgo need to oh my god wheel of fortune yeah so this is gambling this is money <laughs> you know somebody might be going to play in a game show do a game show together um playing roulette spinning the wheel i don't know i'm picking up like some casino vegas vacation marriage vibes <clears throat> someone's in nevada maybe i'm taking a trip yeah i don't know you know i don't have anything here where there's a reconciliation but i don't have anything here where it's new it could be because you do have the i like you romance is blooming so you might know this or have already met this person okay um I feel like this person is, you know, they do kind of have a tendency of someone that does, as far as like running away, like, um, they like adventure. I will say that like this person, um, they're an adventurous type. They love to be out running around doing things, being active. I do feel that, um, if they had like a gambling problem, I feel like they're recovering from that, um, or any kind of an addiction. Now, if you knew this person and they were running away from you, you know, there's this kind of like this guardian angel. I wouldn't be surprised if temperance shows up because this guardian angel makes me feel like this person, um, like the, the, the angels have been like kind of guiding this relationship in some way. So I'm really happy that the devil is in the reverse. Somebody's come to their senses, even with the four of swords, this person. Um, all right. Now you've got the Queen of Wands, so this could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, masculine or feminine. Could be even a Pisces. Let's see. Tell me about this Queen of Queen of Wands here. Oh wow, um, somebody's a teacher or works with like blueprints um, or is a builder. Does construction maybe or you know whatever works on cars, anything where there's this teamwork, collaborating. Um, building something, something to do with building something. But I feel like this is also about learning. Wow. Tower. Why? Oh, shit. Okay, so there is this person. I do feel like they're... <sighs> hmm. Sudden grief. Oh, they lost somebody. I just heard they lost somebody. Um... They lost somebody and they've been to, okay, this is a very odd message. I'm seeing some, like I'm seeing like a carver or someone um, um, engraving in a headstone. 
Yeah. I feel like, you know, this they lost somebody. You might, if you meet this person, you might find out they're a widower as well. Okay. That's the that's a very odd message. That could be you. Something to do with like um, a headstone. I also have the King of Cups here. I just saw that. Pulled that out. Let's see. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on here with the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius. Oh, there's a reconciliation. A reunion. Could be um, someone that you... Um, there could be a romantic relationship. It could be a sibling or a friend. A uh, parent. Um, someone from the childhood or from the past. Page of Cups here. This person's um, got a lot of new ideas, but they're a little bit insecure. They have some creative blocks. They're a little bit disappointed. Let's see. One more card for this. Oh, okay. Hmm. I, I feel like this person is not mature enough to want to get married or be in a committed relationship. This King of Cups, masculine or feminine. Um, they want it, but they may not be ready. I feel like they might be delaying it. Um, but I do see some type of reconciliation with this person. There may be a conversation about this. And this person is, you know, they're emotional. Like, they could be committed. Um, but they're emotionally immature. That's what I'm hearing. So I don't know if you have a connection with either a fire sign or a water sign here. I don't know why these two are showing up here. It could be you and this, and this person. Let me see. Hmm. Okay. So I'm just getting a little more information on this King of Cups here. Is definitely considering marriage or a long-term commitment with you. Okay. If you are dealing with a water sign, that's the energy of that water sign. Um, they're trying to see it from a different point of view. They're they're still trying. They're kind of like you know weighing it out. I feel. But I do feel like they're going to surrender and, and get into it. So, like, I have to say this. Because we were talking about, like, a Vegas marriage, right? So this here would be, like, a religious marriage. The Hierophant. This would be, like, in a church with a priest. You know, it's very conforming, very traditional. And then this here would be one of those, you know, just non-denominational, you know, let's just go to the beach and, you know, wrap seaweed, seaweed around our wrists and, <laughs> you know... <laughs> dance have like a mermaid wedding you know it's very um relaxed um non-conforming right so i feel like this person is not going to do this very traditional type of thing they're going to be more like hey let's go to the beach and get married right like i don't know i just kind of get this sense this person is more spiritual than maybe religious okay so you know i know if you're going to vegas there's no beaches in vegas but um, I don't know, maybe there's a lake, but there's also um, this vacation, um, you know, even here, this might just be, you know, let's do it in the, let's tie, let's have our nuptials in the casino. I <laughs> just, I don't even know, or outdoor reception or something like that. Okay. I just feel like that's it. It's very, it's very spiritual. It's very like happy, celebratory community type of a thing i feel like this person they definitely whether they're water sign whether they're fire sign they do i feel like there may be a loss of someone um that they may experience this going forward or they've lost someone um it could be a parent it could be um a spouse it could be anybody But there's grieving sure it feels like a sudden could be a loss of like a fire sign as well um someone that they were connected to but anyway i don't know that feels more like a qualifier about this person i don't know if it's something you need to know it, it might be helpful for you to just try to confirm who this person is for you but i do see you guys look at that knight of wands yeah this person person per Percy, I just said Percy. Kirsty? Is somebody's name Kirsty? What the heck? Maybe Percy? Hey, Purse. Um, Knight of Wands energy. Okay. So that's Cancer Leo energy there. Passionate, inspired, adventure, fearless, impulsive. The runner. So this person, like, 
they run into things. They might have ADHD or ADD. They're very like impulsive, like, like very like busy, busy, busy kind of a person. They, I don't know if they're, I don't see them as being very relaxed. I feel like they're not. I just get a sense of like rushing in. Okay. They always want to do the right thing. Like this person comes off across. All right. So whatever. You know who your person is. I mean, they think a lot about things. And then once they figure out what the right thing is to do, then they come in like with a burst of energy. Now, I keep hearing burst, cursed, curt. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Let me see. Now, so if you know this person, what are the feelings toward you? What are their feelings towards you, Virgo? If you know who this is, I know some of you are like, you don't have anybody. Okay, well, it's not your reading. Um, it could be somebody new, but right now I'm asking if this person, if you know them, their feelings towards you, well, they keep an eye on you, Virgo, for sure. Um, they kind of watch you, like um, the police song, every, every, every move you make every step you take <laughs> i'll be watching you they have a crush like so i do feel like this person's a little bit immature you know like they're like there's they're still crush like this is, could be somebody who's like 60 years old and they still have crushes i mean look it's cute why not right um they like to talk about adventures and exploration but i'm asking how they feel about you like so they do watch you they enjoy to talk to you they get excited when there's any communication ever even if you're pissed off um wow they're not giving me any cups because this person's like very low on the emotional threshold <laughs> seriously i i feel like i feel like they want to travel with you and I feel like this person likes that you're, you know, pretty stable. Like, you're just one of those people. It's like, it, when, they, when they ask you what you're up to or what you're doing, you're like, working. I'm working. What else am I doing? You know, I'm looking at my money. <laughs> I'm paying my bills, you know. I'm working on something or I'm busy. What? Oh, shoot. Hold on. Okay. All right. Are there any feelings? What is the emotional threshold of this person for Virgo? What can you tell Virgo? This person's emotions. Jesus. All right. This person does not share the feelings that I keep asking. And they're not that type of person. You're not going to get that from them. Not really. They keep it undercover. Kind of like you, Virgo, a little bit. Could be another Virgo. Hey. But I feel like this person... Uh, you ask them how they feel about you and they'll be like, okay, let me just take a minute and do some soul searching so I can figure out what to say. I don't know what that means. Like, do they have a hard time putting a label on it? I, I don't know that they have to soul search. I mean, you know, you ask me, do I love coffee? Yeah, I don't have to think about it. I know that love and loving a person, loving coffee are two very different things. But yeah, I just feel like, let me see. Well, what do they come up with? With the hermit how they feel about you what do they come up with hmm i'm still figuring it out <laughs> what the heck this person thinks very negatively i gotta say that they do they have like a poverty mindset like there's nothing in there all this pentacle all this pentacle energy they think about money more than they think about feelings i know you can't see the cards sorry all right so at minimal at best virgo this person they like they like spending time with you they like jolly happy good times i don't know i mean listen if you're like their feelings are very like they, this person must have like an iq of five on the emotional threshold and that's not necessarily a bad thing they could be neurodivergent or something they just like they feel but it's not like even neurodivergent people have very deep intense emotions but to be able to label them or name them uh i i don't know if they can or if 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 they're 
they just don't express it, you know, not often. They might do things more for you, Virgo, than talk, like express vocally how they feel. Yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like they don't feel anything for you. I, I mean, I like if you know them, I don't feel like there's a lack of actual emotion. I just feel this lack of expression of emotion. And I don't always feel like that means that somebody doesn't care. Because sometimes, you know, body language is just as important as verbal communication. People, we all can speak. You know, it's like, you know, if if a deaf, if you ask somebody who's deaf, tell them to express how they feel and they can't talk, they could show you, right? And that counts, right? So I don't know, Virgo. I don't know. Um, and so that was just if you know this person. Okay. I don't know. I feel like this person, um, whatever, whether you know them or not. Did I say there was reconciliation? I don't remember. And I, you know, I don't know, go to my community tab because I did post the general tower reading for the month of May. There was reconciliation in there. So for some of you, this could be, but for others, um, I do see like positive energy going toward forward towards you, uh, with you and this person. Okay. So we did have the sign showing up. We had a fire sign. There was, there's no air. I didn't see an air sign. We had a fire sign, a water sign and an earth sign. Okay. So I feel like this person definitely... Like if you and they go on a vacation or if you guys go and, have, you know, have your nuptials or if you just do something, there might be a prenup. <laughs> I just heard that there might be a prenup. <laughs> what's mine is mine. We'll share, but what's mine is mine. Um, <clears throat> you know, like obviously I feel this is more for those of you who already know this person because if you just meet somebody and they're like, hey, let's go get married. I mean, after a day, yeah, the chances of that lasting, zero. But hey, or maybe no, close to no. But I don't know. It looks like an exciting time. This is crazy. This is one of those readings where Kelly's off um, off her mark today. And I think it's because I'm all clogged. You know, let me tell you something. My third eye is open. And I've had a, uh, my third eye has been open since I was a kid. And the way I know that, <clears throat> I actually didn't know what it was. But I had somebody confirm it for me. Um, when I take my finger and I bring my finger like, I'm going to show you. I'm not going to show you. I'm going to show you on here. You see the face? When I bring my finger, like right here, right a little bit under the eyebrows, I get it to like right here. Whether it's my finger or I just use an object. So I don't touch, but I go like just about right there. I feel a magnetic pull. I feel a vibration. Okay, so it's like right between the eyebrows, a little bit above the bridge of the nose. And that has always been um, open for me. And I had somebody confirm that. Um, a psychic was confirmed that. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. And he actually said to me, that's rare. Not many people have that. So if you're one of those people that you experience that and you have that, you're psychic for sure. You have an open portal. You have um, a third eye opening. Now, when I get a cold, or when I'm crying, which I don't usually do, but when I get a cold or I'm stuffy in my sinuses, guess what? That gets blocked. Today's one of those days. I feel totally blocked. Okay. So if this reading is absolutely not making any sense, it's because some's getting out, not all of it. Some of it. All right. Year of the dragon, year of the goat, year of the dragon, year of the monkey, year of the goat, year of the snake, year of the dog, year of the ox, year of the pig, snake, ox, rooster, pig monkey rooster dog again and a horse welcome to the horse someone's name is renee okay you know did we ever figure out a, a, a name for this fella was it mortimer mortimer some of you came up with names and i forgot forgot what names you guys came up with was it kelator instead of skeletor kelator kind of like that all right let's get into some moon pie tarot messages here okay endure and be patient virgo the month of may endure be patient oh oh and you got the strength card so you're a winner virgo don't forget who you are you have the courage and strength to withstand any situation virgo mature dynamic fiery male that's a fire sign coming in masculine or feminine showing up leo Aries, 
Sag. You got a twin flame. It's a lover's card here. There is a lover situation. And there is, as you can see, reconciliation. So some of you, yeah. I know, I hear you. I see you guys in the chat. I don't want that person back. Okay, well, you know, you don't have to take them back. You can't stop them from coming in. You can't. How much power do you think you wear a superhero cape? You don't have the power to make someone like to stop them from driving past your house or you know whatever unless you get a restraining order you know that's pretty much the extent of the power but if somebody's going to come back in you only have control of yourself and the power to say no that's pretty much it now that doesn't mean that this person like just because you don't want them back doesn't mean they don't want to come back it, it very much so they could but you know that's fine um, if you're in the chat and every day you're here and you're listening and you're like, well, where's the new person? Well, I don't know if you're sitting on your computer all day and you are not getting out there and socializing and meeting people. If you're being a hermit, don't come to me and ask me to bring you a person. I cannot do that. Right. Um, get out there. Get off your ass and get out there and socialize and meet who you need to meet if you meet somebody online get off the computer and meet them in person material wish is being granted virgo so that's like the ace of pentacles there's a new opportunity job opportunity new investments you might be receiving a gift you also have good friends being very significant to you in the month of may good friends all around you guardian angel could be your good friend <clears throat> All right, I want to show you that financial loss fell in the reverse. So that means no more loss. Now you did have in that general reading I did in my community tab where there was going to be pinching pennies, but I did see the wheel of fortune. Things are going to turn around. Big money's going to come in. So maybe you're going to get your refund. You're going to hit a lottery. There's bonuses. There's money coming in. So that's a positive, Virgo. Stay positive. Okay. Let me just get some. I'm going to just cut this short. I'm not going to do the charms tonight, you guys, because my head is like starting to pound. All right. Warning. Don't dismiss the red flags. Came out in reverse, which means I don't see any red flags here. No red flags. No red flags, Virgo. Okay. Obstacles are being removed in the reverse. Good. Second chance. Relationship deserves a second chance. You know what? I'm just going to skip the numbers. I will just, I'll give you some charms. So there is a relationship here. There's a second chance coming in to actually do something right. A decision is being made. Right? Time to decide about this relationship. And, and so like it's on you. Once you click off the video, you either, you're going to give it a second chance I'd advise you, this is my personal advice, if somebody's cheated on you or whatever and did some really like narky shit <clears throat> and they're coming back for like a third, fourth, fifth, no, be done, move on. Because now you got some trauma. You got trauma bonding going on. But if it's like you've been dating or you're with someone and then they screw up and they come back and they're like, no, I'm going to make it up. You want to give them another chance and they got the bloody stump energy. <laughs> And they're really going to like make changes because an apology without change is just manipulation. They're honestly going to make changes. Then, okay, you're willing to give them a chance. But anything after that, this person's just playing with you. You know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Right? Second chance. Doesn't say third. Doesn't say fourth. Doesn't say fifth. At that point, just be friends and let them go. All right, let's see. Oh, you got a turtle and a spider. Ew, I just killed a spider. Yes, I did. And I don't want to hear any of your climate stuff. I killed the spider because it was a recluse. And I know exactly what they look like. And I don't want them around my grandson. I smashed the shit out of it. But you do have a spider. So what does that mean? Well, I mean, I don't kill daddy long legs. You know, they're, not, they're harmless. But listen, be careful. If you got a spider in your house... I don't know where you live. Like where I live, we have a lot of those here. If you got a spider in your house, and you know it's not it's a dangerous spider, smash that fucker. But <laughs> what? I need cough I need medicine. I do. 
I need to be locked up and put away. I hate, I don't know, I, I don't know what kind of Virgo you are, but I'm the kind of Virgo, if I'm off just a little bit with like the sniffles or anything like that, my whole life is ruined. <laughs> Like, I cannot function, and then I gotta take medicine, and then I'm even more messed up. Sorry. I'm trying not to sniff like a freaking third grade snot fest here. But, um, this spider, be careful. Some of you need to, like, just get off the freaking web and get out there and live your lives, okay? Now, some of you might have, like, a pet spider, like a tarantula, or maybe there's a tattoo. Somebody's got a spider ta tattoo of some sort. There's also a sea turtle. Um, I just heard spider crab. Now maybe somebody, you might live near the sea. Maybe you live on a beach or someone does. The turtle, you know, turtle does represent longevity. It represents age. It represents um, soft in the center. What is that candy? Hard shell on the outside, soft in the center. Like, a, like no, it's not a starburst. Gosh, there used to be this candy. I forget what it was called. It was hard on the outside, had a crunchy shell on the outside, and then it had like a squirt in the center. And then you would like bite it, and then it would squirt in your mouth. What the hell's it called? And you purrs can just like chill. What the heck was that? It's from the 80s, I think. I forget what it was called. Does anybody remember? Put in the chat if you remember. It was just this hard candy. It's not like an M&M or a Smartie where it's like a hard candy shell, and then it's soft chocolate. And they said, this shit used to squirt out of your mouth. It might have been... I don't remember. Anyway, you know, a turtle has a, like a shell on the top and then they have like a hard shell underneath and then they're all soft and they hide. Somebody, oh, and they just said somebody turtles. Do you know what turtling is? Do you ever see anybody turtle when you like ask them a question? If they're um, trying to back away or they're trying not to tell the truth or they're just trying or they're really insecure, they turtle so their head starts going in, their shoulders go up and they start pulling, they sink in their chair. I don't know what that means for you. Maybe you see that or you experience that with someone who turtles a lot. Somebody could be wearing a turtleneck as well or enjoys to wear them. I'm not a turtleneck person, but once in a while, <clears throat> maybe just enjoy to wear a turtleneck. Shh. And somebody's got a spider on their shirt too, like a logo, like a spider on their logo, like a logo or I don't know if it's a company or like Spider-Man, Spider-Man kind of... Um, I don't know, is that a movie? Whatever, whoever did, who made Spider-Man? Was it, I don't know if it's DC Comics or Marvel. Somebody might be into that or kids or grandkids or whichever. All right, I'm done. I'm done because now I'm getting goofy. I don't know what I'm talking about. So I will leave your reading here. I hope you enjoy that. Tomorrow, my God, I can't believe we're through this week already. Tomorrow's Thursday, so I'll be back here for your weekend reading. Don't forget to book your reading with me, you guys. The link is in the description box below. You can get a text message reading with me if you don't have time for a phone call. Just type in your five questions when you book your reading. I will answer them and text it back to you, right? It's really simple, um, and you can do as many as you want, and um, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So I'll see you all back here tomorrow. Thanks to all the mods. You know, I love you guys. You're super awesome. Thank you to all my dedicated chatters. You guys, I love seeing you here every night. And just a little secret, I'm watching you. I don't always talk in the chat, but I do watch. And if I try to communicate with somebody said last night, who was it? Oh, I can't remember her name. Maybe it was Dottie. Dottie, was it you? Dottie said, and somebody replied to her, which was exactly what I would have said. Some, I think it was Dottie, and she said, I don't know why I attract these bad, toxic type people. And I was gonna reply, and somebody did, and it was a good reply, and I was gonna say the same thing. It, you you're, should not be concerned with who you're attracting, you should be concerned with who you're holding on to. That's the issue. Who you're attracting in this world, you're, you're gonna attract all kinds of people. You know, I attract beautiful, uh, hummingbirds in my garden and also attract those uh, rec recluse I attract mice coming to my house now I have the decision do I let them stay <laughs> or do I set traps and get rid of them right it's not about who you attract it's about who you're choosing to let stay and I just wanted to close with that because that is really really important the question is why you got to ask yourself you can't blame the universe for who's coming into your life you know I mean look bad things happen to good people that does happen and these are exceptions to the rule you know 
Those girls in the 70s who were trying to help Ted Bundy with his broken arm, bad things happen to good people. But, you know, just keep your head on a swivel. Pay attention. Get to know people. Don't rush into relationships with anybody. Take your time and get to know people. Because um, you really never do know someone. And sometimes it could be years before you really understand what someone's about. Look for patterns. Pay attention to words. Pay attention to body language and behaviors. Pay attention to how people are. You save yourself a lot of trouble and trust your vibe trust your gut trust your instinct all right i'm done preaching love you guys i'll see you back here for your weekend reading bye hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light-filled life thank you bye